Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hey there, interwebs. Corwin's eating some candy. Yeah. I'm Adam. That is, as established, Corwin. This is Handbasket Gaming. I started this episode without telling him. Yeah. Yeah, he I did. Re- <laughs> you son of a bitch. We're Your playing- mom's a very nice lady, by the way. We're playing Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, and I remembered what to do. Watch this shit. What? In the butt? Ooh. That's... What keep it in the bottle, baby. <laughs> that or always set it free. <laughs> It's just like, keep it a prisoner forever, or, you know, granted its freedom and not be a douche. In the bottle you go. Come here. Yes. Because we've established that Tharf is a uh, Fred Durst fan. Of course he's going to keep it in a bottle. Yeah! <laughs> in a bottle! <laughs> yeah, in a bottle. It's a new... That's My a new way or the highway! Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Good... <laughs> oh, that's not oh. the way forward, son of a bitch. Okay. Why do you net those ones, or are you out of bottles? I, I only have two bottles, mm. right? Yes, I only have two bottles. Okay. All right, sorry everybody, I lied. We're gonna, I'm gonna pause here and actually regain my bearings and know what the fuck's up. Yeah. <laughs> and we're back. I'm, uh, I'm a moron, and I forgot to do something with that. What do I do with that? Shit. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. You know what that guy kind of looks like? That green thing? Huh. I, I really, fr- I really, really like that movie. Um, it was based off, off, off the comic uh, Big Hero 6. Yeah. For that guy who's like really meta. It looks like that guy, like the guy who wanted to be a monster. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy reminded me of Boo from Monsters, Inc. I can get that. Die! Thank you. I think I just need to kill this guy and then chest will appear right there with the other key that I need. So, I always, whoa, there, whoa, watch out. Yeah, okay. Man, all right, thank God. Okay. Yeah, that's a big key. Yep. Tell because there's a skull on it. I like the later games because they started calling it a boss key. And it just makes me think, busky, 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 because I'm ridiculous. But what does what does that mean, though? Nothing at all. It just it's a funny, uh, funny sounding phrase. Busky, right. busky, 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 busky. <laughs> now I can get the bow and arrow from this chest, and we can actually make some progress. Woo! Uh-oh. Ah, ah. It's rain and dead. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> oh, that was so cool. Oh, you're gonna die by skulls. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> you're gonna get skull fucked to death. Everything's fine. But yeah, now this these guys are no longer that big of a threat because I just go Pwah! one shot. Wow. Yep. Good times. Now wait, those, those guys are just gone now? That was weird. It's like we're gonna we're gonna have our oh I must have despawned him by going off the screen. Huh. I beat, I beat now, your system. Right right in the center there. Okay. I was right curious if you can go in there. That door you just opened. Yeah, that's I needed the big key to be able to do that. Yeah. Top myself off by eating those two uh those two ladies. Just eating them fairies. Yeah. Well, because there's been uh, th- there's an ongoing debate as to what uh, what you're actually doing to uh, to get the power of the fairies. Like when you die, they clearly come out and sprinkle you with magic, but when uh, when you like purposely use them, you just run over them and then they disappear. So I think you're eating them. Um, my other favorite theory is from a web series called The Legend of Neil, where mm-hmm. it's like. Uh, it's like a guy who like works as a dishwasher or something like he's just like a a minimum wage like that was a terrible job guy like our age who through a series of misadventures winds up sucked into uh, the Legend of Zelda world and it's a really funny show fanfic 
No, it's a really funny show, and everyone should watch it. But uh, the fairy in that is played by Felicia Day, oh. and the way it works is th in that is that she blows you back to life. <laughs> so like she's the, like the, she's like this tiny little fairy. <laughs> it's it's very funny, and yeah, I'm a big fan. Yeah. Also, also I have a big crush on Felicia Day, so that uh, that contributes. It's fair. <laughs> oh balls! What? Oh balls, indeed. <laughs> yeah. Gotta get some balls yeah. out of him. <laughs> Have we told that story on the show? I don't think so. Okay. Um, <laughs> do you do you want me to tell tell like? Oh what no! I know and you all right? No, no, no. You, no. You this was it. I. I got to like you can read like you can tell your half of it no, after no, no, no. I you, tell you mine. Tell, you tell the whole story. It's fine. Um. So. It was like we had known each other for like maybe a week or two maximum at this point. And, and this isn't a week or two of us hanging out. This is just like, oh, I, I know that guy. Yes, yeah, like I met like this is like the second time I've met him because uh, I was dating a friend of his. And that's how we met through uh, through this girl I was dating. And I know girl, right? You're surprised. Yeah, it's weird. Um, it's got cooties for days. Um, so we're driving somewhere, and at that point, I was working nights at a gas station, and like, I didn't have a car, and I was working this this overnight job, and just really not in, uh, not an adult, um, but just always tired because I was always up all night. And I had worked a ni uh, night shift the night before, and we were hanging out and going somewhere. Wait, wait, sorry, I want to hear the story, but the fuck is happening? These are the Armos Knights, I think? Do they... No. Okay. Do they all square dance you to death? Is that what's happening Pretty here? much. Whoops. Welcome um, to the Honky Tonk Knight Town. We're gonna square dance you down. <laughs> square <laughs> dance you down. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> Get a big heart from that. Yeah, it's a heart container. Nice. So now I've got more life. Nah, I'm good. What is um, that? I, can I can I go now? No, you should take that. Yeah, all right, fine. Pendant of courage or some shit. You, you need that to continue the story. Do I? You do. You're, you're not my dad. Can't tell I'm not your real do. dad, but I'm pretend dad right now. That's fair. You won the pendant of courage. Take it to strong. <laughs> now that time you sound like one of those aliens from. Uh, that really awesome uh, Tim Allen uh, movie. Oh, uh, uh, Galaxy, Galaxy Quest. Quest. Two pendants remain. Woo! Nice. All right. So. Oh yeah. So. Shift. So I was just I was so tired and we're driving to God knows where and we picked up Corwin and uh, I like I yawned or something and I'm just like God I'm just gonna I'm just so tired I'm just gonna fall asleep and uh, my girlfriend at the time was being uh, being nice to me about it. And sympathetic, you know, like a friend would do. Um, and Corwin I just pipes friend. up from the back and just goes, "Oh, I wish I had known. I would. We could have stopped at the store, and I would have gotten you some balls." And I'm just like, "Wow, I did not know Corwin was a huge douchebag." <laughs> just like I now hate this guy. <laughs> And like I just got really quiet. <laughs> now at the time, energy drinks were kind of a brand new thing. There were there weren't a whole lot of them out there in the first place. And at this like healthy organic grocery store that I was working at at the time, they had this healthy uh, energy drink that they sold there nowhere else. That was called Balls. I think Balls still exists. I think yeah, but you gotta like special order it from like Balls.com. <laughs> go to Balls.com. No guys. one go to Balls.com. You, you can order yourself a big old glass of Balls. But um, <laughs> so I'm thinking, yeah, I get him a drink, and he's like, what a fucking dick. Yep. But then he like you were re you were pretty quick to uh, to correct yourself. And you're just like, oh god, no, that's not what I meant. Like I, I remember said, energy drink. It was, your voice got really high and it was hilarious. Well, I don't remember. It was an energy drink. I want to voice yeah. this guy. I've I've already been all right. Fine, you can voice him this time. Oh, you got the pendant of courage. Now I will tell you more of the legend. Three or four <laughs> generations ago, an order of knights. Nice story, fucker. Protected the royalty 
of the. We are going to be here what, all what day. What is that last word? Hylia. Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed by the gout. A uh, <laughs> great war against evil that took place when seven wise men created their oh my souls God, I hate you. among the descendants of the knights of Hyrule. Hyrule. The hero must appear. I see. <laughs> Thoth, I believe you. You should be. Re you should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. Yes. All I'm saying is the people want to know the story, and they and should... you uh, people people also want to move on with their damn lives. Okay, they don't want to be here all day. He gives you the Pegasus shoes. Now you can execute a devastating dash attack. This guy is just so just my, all over the place. A helpful item is hidden in the cave on the east side of Lake Hylia. Get it. <laughs> Get it. Get. You get it good. <sighs> so, playing this game without the Pegasus boots, after you have ever played it with the Pegasus boots, is just interminable. Like, you go so slow by comparison. Because now I can do that shit. Ow. <laughs> it's like playing Pokemon before you have the bike. Exactly. It is exactly that. And now is the time to use this. <laughs> I'm and gonna now, poke you. I'm gonna poke you. I can do the most important thing. I'm going the wrong way. Um, most important thing in the game, as I alluded to a few episodes taxes. ago. File my taxes. Yeah, you gotta, gotta keep on top of those W2s. Get behind you, man. Um, <laughs> God damn it. All right, I'm, I'm terrible, terrible sense of direction. <clears throat> But it is what it is. No, I was going the right way the first time. God. Shit. <laughs> so, so what's this important thing you're going to do? Well, I think we'll find out uh, on the next episode. Guys, we're going to find out about the important thing you need to do. I'm just going to run around and hit people in the meantime. Or miss them horribly. Equally as important to whatever he's got to do is wearing protection. <laughs> Well, that, that's important knowledge. My dad used to tell me when I was a kid, I was like maybe 10 or 11, he was like, son, if you take a shower, you better be wearing a condom. And if you're going to the store, wear a condom. Your dad's a weird guy. My dad wanted to make sure that I didn't make the same mistakes he did and have a son he didn't want. So oh my God. he was preparing me. <laughs> I cannot, I can't play the game when you're saying this shit. Like, I'm going to die horribly. I, to I think basic that's something that he straight up said to me. He was like, "You don't want to end up like me and have to deal with uh, deal with having someone like you around." <laughs> My dad. On that very encouraging <laughs> and not at all abusive note, uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna ask a question for this uh, for this episode. Uh, I got it this time. After you, sir. All right. Do well, you have unwanted children? No. <laughs> Do they know? <laughs> Have you told your kids today that they, that they do? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Ask a couple questions before I dig a deeper hole. Oh, that's pretty good, though. Uh, uh, who do you think is our favorite Marvel heroes? Yep. Uh, answer the comments below. End of the week, we'll record something with the right answers. And shout outs to anybody who got it right. Well, not anybody, but, you know, a random person that we happen to see who gets it right. Bye, everybody! <laughs> I love my dad. <laughs> Say bye. What's the matter with you? Bye, dad. I love you.